All right, welcome everybody. This is Grape Ape, your host for today, and I'm bringing you the forest gameplay. It is currently in alpha, as you can see there. So there are bugs and glitches. Um, one big one being that the saving at this time does not work properly. So every time I exit the game, I have to restart it when I load up the game again. Um, so I will not be able to do a big successive playthrough. This will be difficult, but I can show off different parts and functions of the game. So here we are, crashing. Slash cannibal people, or whatever you want to call them, that run around terrorizing you. And there's one right there. Kind of gives you an idea of what they look like. And they suck. Like, if you seriously, if you see them, you're gonna need to run away, or at least in the beginning of the game, you definitely do, because they can take a lot of damage and. It's very, very rare. I've never even seen one of them just off by themselves. So it's only a group of three or more at a time. So yeah, it's best if you can to just try and avoid them. Um, for this video, I'm just going to kind of show you guys the beginning of the game. Whenever you first load it up. Um, like where you start out in the plane crash. And I'm going to show you the shelter. What it looks like once it's fully built. And... Just kind of talk about the game, talk about what's going on, and what I like about it, what I might not have liked. Um, and I wouldn't call this a review by any means, since it is an alpha, and you can't really determine how good the game is yet. Um, it's just, just information and sort of my opinions. It's nothing solid to go by, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But um, honestly, I enjoy the game. I think for 15 bucks, it's a new experience, um, and it's a little. It it feels like a new experience compared to most survival games because there's quite a few of them out: Rust and Daisy, the standalone, and all that. And this is just, I like this game a lot, a lot more than standalone, and compared to paying 30 bucks nearly for standalone and 15 for this um, I wish I would have just bought this game but it has just recently come out and so I didn't really have any way of knowing and I didn't really learn about it until after um, I had already bought Daisy is when I started looking into it kind of but here I am checking out this boat, picking up some loot, there's some alcohol, some candy bars, some cloths, and things like that. Stuff you would expect to see in a survival game. I'm sure cloth you can use to make bandages and every all the stuff you've seen before, pretty much. Um, some cool things I saw, if you watch the trailer, you should if you haven't yet for this game. Um, I'm sure you have though if you're watching this right now is when he's in the river and he kills a fish with a spear it's like a handmade wooden spear that was really cool and uh, just little features and things like that are what's going to really set this game apart and, and make it a lot more fun and immersive compared to other games and I think it's going to be really awesome whenever it's finished because it's pretty fun right now, and that's, it's only been out for not even a week, I don't believe. So I got some feathers and some loot. Now I'm going to head back and start getting ready to build my shelter. Um, the graphics and everything do look really nice in this game. That's one thing that drew me to it in the trailers and everything watching this game it just looks really good it's a really really nice game to watch and to look at 
and I'm not a big graphics whore or anything like that. I can play a game. I play plenty of games that don't have nearly as good of graphics, but the gameplay is what makes it fun. It's what makes the game. And this game, the gameplay, just what I've played, the small amount that I've done, is uh, it's very fun and and uh, it's it's solid all around. It's solid. There are glitches and things like that in the game, but I haven't ran into a whole lot of them yet, so that was nice. But um, I'm sure I'll find more glitches and and stuff as I go along but it's expected it is an alpha so and this is me chopping down a tree right now I played a little bit already before I recorded this basically it works a lot like other survival games like kind of how rust and minecraft and things like that work you chop down trees and you get logs and then you use those logs along with sticks and rocks and and uh, other things that you find in your environment to build your shelters, make your fires, and things like that. It's Once again, it's nothing new, but the game itself, the look of the game and the feel is, is definitely new and refreshing. And you see little things like turtles and birds flying around you and things like that. The little, it's the little things that make this game really nice and that I enjoy. And it's kind of a... Um, there's kind of a big difference in that sense c between this game and DayZ standalone right now is a really empty game there's not a lot of loot and uh, you don't see very many people on the maps and things like that whereas in this game it's not a online multiplayer experience as far as I know it's not going to be maybe in the future down the line it will be but as of now it isn't, but the difference is in this game you find quite a bit of loot and things like that. Uh, not real easy, but fairly easy. Um, flare guns and more rare or useful loot's a little bit harder to find, but it's uh, it, it takes it easy on you a little bit. Not too easy though, because the enemies, like I said, the enemies are extremely tough. And uh, they can kill you really quickly. You cannot kill them very easily at all. I've yet to kill a single enemy in this game. And lots and lots of hits on them with the axe. The axe is just a really weak weapon. But you can kind of use flare guns and things like that. Uh, scare them away a little bit. And that will damage them some. And make them kind of back off and give you some time to run away but really that's your only option starting out in this game is to just run away and try and avoid the enemy okay so the videos coming to an end here um, you'll get to finally see the finished shelter I kinda cut the video up just so I could get it done and you didn't have to watch me walking back and forth with the logs because that gets a little bit annoying and repetitive but I will be back with more of the forest gameplay in the next video and I'll show off some more things and features. Like I said, the game doesn't save so I'll have to build a shelter and get back up to that point and uh, start recording from there. And I can show you guys just some new things and have some new adventures in the forest. Um, it's a great game. I recommend you guys check it out, look into it. And this has been the Grape Apes signing out.